So why don't you take a couple minutes to talk about why giving into our community where you grew up, where we live, like why it's important and what's special about this island that really other people don't get it if you're not living here, if you're not on the rock, like people just don't get it. So it's like the, the thing that everybody says. I mean, I hear it all the time. I'm sure you guys hear it all the time. Anybody listening or watching, I'm sure has heard it, but you aren't getting, you know, Citibank to sponsor your son's baseball team, right? You just, it's not happening. You're not getting um, Chase to sponsor, you know, the softball team. You're getting Techie Geek. You're getting PR Cision. You're getting the Advance. You're getting these, I don't want to say smaller companies, but you're getting the mom and pop companies, the, the entrepreneurial companies, and the really ingrained local companies to sponsor these things because it matters because they're, at the end of the day, our kids, our nephews, our nieces, or whatever it may be. And the community we interact with in Staten Island is much different than anywhere else. It's not corporate. It's, you know, I know you and you're a huge executive here at the Advance, right? Like, that's the reality, but we're friends. You know, you have what I would say, what? The top IT firm in Staten Island. That's a safe assumption to say, right? If we had to use metrics and you're accessible and you're here. So I think it's important that people realize that you need to give back to the community because that's what ultimately is going to get your brand out there and make people see that you care about what's going on. I, I always say the community is what helped to grow Tacky Geek, right? $500 in my pocket that I used to start the organization. The first thing I did with that was to join the Cham Silent Chamber of Commerce and to get involved. And I, thankfully, I luckily realized that Stalin, we, we are different than everywhere. You know, well, we are very long. We are very community basis as as much as we sometimes might be Staten Islanders and people know what that mean when you talk about different T V shows and how they represent Staten Island. We are very community oriented. And I I learned that very quickly. And I wanted to help because this community is what helped to grow me that quickly. It's what allowed me three years in the you know, of starting my organization to go out and hire someone. And, and realize that I need to be involved in the community. I need to be at the Chamber of Commerce events. I need to be helping the not-for-profits that are doing amazing things for organizations in the community like Staten Island because ultimately, if the community succeeds, it's going to help my company to succeed. My employees live in the community. My employees, the kids that we're helping today are going to be my employees 15 years from now because everything I do is for the long haul. I'm not here to start this and get out. I'm here to be here forever. Hopefully one day pass this off to my two girls who probably won't want anything to do with this. They're also six and three, so I probably don't have the ability to make that decision. You'll be dead by that. You yeah. probably got a shot at at least one. Well, why are you killing me off for it? Right. So long. Um, but, you know, the community is so important, and that's why I give back. And I want to be a part of it. And, it, and ultimately, by being a part of that community, the community wants to give back to you as well. So it's organic. And, and, and it works out, and that's why I do. And to me, that's branding. That's not marketing. It's branding. You're branding yourself because right. you're involved. It's social currency, right? So you're at all, you know, yesterday we had a conversation social in the elevator. Currency. I'm sure, I'm sure you right. social currency. You and, 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 but, but I'm sure you were there yesterday. Were you with him for his marathon events or at least? He came to one. one. Was I mean, so you're looking at this guy's social feed, and he was, from the, the moment he woke up till the moment he went to sleep, you were at three different events. And... Whether they were paid events or not, I don't know, because I didn't dig that deep. But in any event, you were there. You were physically there. And you being in the room with, you know, the Sound Museum and uh, Kiwanis, right? What else was it? Something else. Yes, I see. Yes, I see. So you took four hours out of your day to be at things that aren't making you money. Let's just be frank, right? In other words, it wasn't a paid gig. You, you weren't asked to be there or paid to be there. And, and you show up. You do the right thing. And people see you. And people on the island respect that, where I think in other places and other boroughs, that, that respect, it just does, it almost doesn't matter. But here, it, it makes a difference. And I would like to just say, thankfully, I'm able to do that because I have an amazing staff. Right. And that's so the one thing that a lot of business owners, I think, don't realize is you have to have staff. You have to treat your staff right because if it wasn't for them, I'd be stuck in the office handling service tickets on projects. And because I have the team I do, I'm able to go and work as much as I can on the business right. rather than in a business. You provide a good work-life balance for, for your staff, your employees. It's a, it's more of a culture thing in your office than, than a job, you know? I mean, it's insert cool techie geek office here. Just <laughs> I mean, 
from the from the comics to the video games. We were in there last week, and I said, I don't think anybody could work. I don't think anyone does any work. I don't think they work either. But yeah, but yeah, you're getting it done. So, so credit to you. 